nor should we. What we should be doing, and that those that don't want to participate in this, is to just pray for them in our minds. This isn't a judgment. This isn't about a show. This is about something holy and righteous between you and the living God. And this is up to you. That's why we just keep it up here for those that want to participate. And for those that don't, please let it go because then I know that you've recognized the meaning and the gravity of what we're talking about. You know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 23, it states, For I have received from the Lord that which I have also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took the bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And we ate together. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my body. This do as often as you drink in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat and, um, of this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. We drink together. You know, um, I spent um, time off and on back and forth going to atheist sites. I used to be one. Going to atheist sites and reading what they have to say. Nothing's new under the sun on that uh, topic at all. In fact, um, most of it, they're just ignorant, like I was. Or they're just ignorant. They're just... Self-centered, ignorant people. Um, I read one thing on there where a guy says, one person was defending God, and the guy was going back. He says, you know, that God, you know, if you even dare so work on the Sabbath, you should be stoned. The reason, see, this is what I mean, they're ignorant. They don't understand that Jesus says, I've come not to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. Which means he is the Sabbath. And, and there's an understanding of truth. The Bible is 100% truth. I know there's people here today that says, you know what, I, I don't believe that. And they're going to say that 99% of the time because they've never read it. They've never picked it up and read it. They don't understand it. So out of their pride comes ignorance. And they say, you know what, it's just not true. Out of their pride comes ignorance. There are also another set of group of people that would sit there and say, the Bible's just not true. That they have read it, but they don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense to them. So they're going to sit there, I, I, I read the Bible and nothing's changed. It's because you don't understand it. There's no fear of God in your eyes. He says that there should be a fear of God. A righteous fear. Not a trembling fear, but a righteous fear out of love. I served the Lord Jesus Christ because I was bought with the price. He shed His blood on the cross and bought me. Bought me. He's changed me. And I don't mean to quote Peter, but it's a great words. Well, yes. And I look at this and, and put my own name in it. Well, where are you going to go? Where else can I go? Where else would I go? You have all the answers. This is it. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to gather together in your name, Jesus. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the food. God, you're the one that knows the hearts of each man and woman here today. But there's somebody here today, Jesus, that doesn't know you. God, I ask that you would send your children around them and talk to them about you. To love on them. As in John 6, states, no one comes to the Son unless the Father draws them. God, it's all you. To break them down so that you would build them back up. For the Christians that are here today, may we be reminded that we are to be the light of the fallen world. Don't ever forget the life you once lived. You're not better than everybody else. You're just saved. Which is a great and awesome thing. But you saved. Now share the truth with other people. Share. I know it's hard to be discouraged when you see people that aren't like who you are today. That's why Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 2, remember who you once were. Fulfilling the eyes of the flesh and the mind. And we are to be the light of the fallen world of darkness. To go out there, not sit comfortably at home and wait to go to see God. But we're waiting to share it with other people. To the mighty and the powerful name of Jesus of Nazareth that I pray and all agree with this can say. Amen. 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 There's some socks and shoes here if you guys want.
Jones. What's up, sir? Jack, you're looking for this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.